All right, so we got example two here, example B, two triangles. Um, I have to find a missing value of x. Uh, okay, so we have one thing on our side that's the knowledge that all three angles add up to be sweet. And the first one here, something was left out. You couldn't do it unless I showed you what the second angle was. So one is 35, the other is a right angle, and a right angle is 90 degrees. Here's what I can do. I can do some algebra. I'm going to use algebra to figure out what x is. One angle is 35 degrees, the other is 90, and a third one is unknown. I'll call it x. When you add all three angles, it's 180. I'll use my principles of algebra to figure this out. I'm going to collect like terms. Collecting like terms means anybody who is common or similar to each other. 90 and 35 are both numbers. I can sum them up. I can add that. 90 plus 35 is 125. Here's 125 degrees plus x equals 180. Here's where the algebra continues, and here's where some of you guys might use mental math. Some of you guys are saying 125 plus what is 180? And so you're going to say, oh, x is uh, 180 minus 125 is uh, 55 degrees. So that's how you can figure out x. How you doing? Okay, let me take this. I need all my answers. Okay, gotcha. Uh, I don't have very much teaching. I'll have by the end of the day. So the other way algebraically is to subtract what is connected to the x. Right now, I am adding 125 to the x. I'm going to subtract 125 from the left and from the right. This is a zero pair. A zero pair plus x equals 180 minus 125 is 55 degrees. So that's how we figure out the unknown x. x is 55. Hey, this? No. We can't minus 90 and 35 because the whole triangle is what we're taking into account, though. All three angles. All three angles add to be 180. So you try to figure it out, figure out the third one, unknown one. So sum these two up and then take it away from the entire 180. And that'll give you the third left over. Okay? Okay. Questions about that one? Jasmine? No, you don't have to. This is just one way to do it. Okay? The other way, like I was saying uh, mentally, is just to say, all right, these two I know is 125, okay? 125, and in one triangle there's 180, so that's 125 out of 180, so the leftover is this difference of 180 minus 125. Okay? It was just essentially what we were doing in algebra over here. Alrighty. On um, the next one, what we have is 75, 75, and x. So 75 plus 75 is 150 degrees. In a whole triangle, how many degrees are there? 180. 180 degrees. So these two are already 150. So how much is left over for the triangle? 30 degrees. So that's another quick way to figure it out. That the unknown angle is 30 degrees that way. 